Yo, 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 it's Ed from birthdaysuitblueprint.com and today I want to share with you the leg workout that I did yesterday. So, I'm doing a really simple workout here. Again, I'm just sticking with the really simple layout of three sets of ten and I am absolutely loving it recently. Um, I'm still getting back into training after my broken hand. Um, so I'm taking it back to the drawing board really with going simple. So here with my squat, as you can see, I'm focusing on keeping a really nice tight back. I'm pushing my knees as I come down, not lifting too much weight, but keeping the, keeping the reps really nice and slow, really controlled, trying to activate my glutes at the bottom of the movement. And just take it all slowly, okay, so that my muscles are, are working every step of the way. I'm not using any momentum, I'm not putting any unnecessary weight on my back. So keeping it real simple. So I did three sets of 10 on squats, three sets of 10 on walking lunges. Uh, these ones here, walking lunges, are I'd say my favorite leg exercise. I absolutely love them. You get such a good glute burn and they involve so much stability as well. So as you can see here, I'm slightly leaning forward and my arms are a little bit bent. I find that bending my arms helps to um, keep your balance a little bit more rather than completely hanging. Um, and also it sort of helps to keep your traps out of the movement ever so slightly. Um, so I'm just stepping straight through each time, I'm not pausing in between each rep. That's because I'm kind of trying to get them done as quickly as possible. And right here, this is my last set I think. They're really starting to hurt there and my heart is absolutely pounding away. Um, so normally I wouldn't normally do a leg extension exercise but my fiance said that she wanted to do it so yeah we got ropes into that. Um, so I'm just doing two sets of 15 on here, so I'm keeping it light, I'm making sure that I don't um, extend too quickly at the top of the movement, I'm trying to control it the whole way, because this exercise can be really bad for your knees if you hammer it too hard. So nice and slow, squeeze your quads at the top of the movement and then control it back down. So you probably noticed the theme of my workouts here, everything is under control and that is to apply as much tension as possible to your muscles. So then we're moving on to single leg stiff leg deadlift. So this is one I only started doing about a year ago. Um, it's as an alternative of doing a normal stiff leg deadlift with a bar and holding it with two hands and using both legs. So this I find it engages your glutes so much more. Again so much balance which gets lots of different stabilizer muscles involved. Um, and you can get a real stretch on your hamstring without your back tightening, so hamstring tightening getting in the way too much. So I really love this exercise and it is tough, it's so hard to stay upright. Um, and then I just finished off with a cheeky little set of calves. So we didn't actually have that long left, so I just did one burnout set. So I'm doing 30 reps all together here. This first one, my feet are straight, okay, so they're, my feet are parallel. You'll see in the video in a second where I move my feet. Um, so yeah, they're, at the moment they're straight, in, uh, in a, there we go, I'm moving my heels inwards now so that my toes are pointing outwards. So 10 reps in that position and then for the last 10 I'm going to change the position again ever so slightly. So the idea of this is to hit all three heads of your, of your calves, so the inside and the outside and underneath the calves. Um, and this is a really good way of just doing it in one really quick set, this took me like a minute and a half and they're done. Um, so normally I would do three sets of calves, but as I said, I didn't really have much time, so I thought I'd crank them out. And look at my face here, it's starting to get seriously painful, and it is beautiful. So that is really all of the, the leg workout I did today. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, it can be that simple. I'm just doing two compound movements and then a couple of isolation movements, and then threw in a little stretch at the end. This stretch here, the hip flexor stretch, is the best thing. I think for stretching your hips, it also gets your hamstring, your quads if you want to go all yogi like this. So I hope that's been helpful. If you like the video, please like below, subscribe to my channel and I'll be making videos every single day. Speak to you soon.